Yo, yo, yo! What's up, tubers? Your boy Fried Squash here, and welcome to episode two of Homestead Happenings. And today, yo, we're coming straight out of Caternix. Okay, tubers, today we're increasing your farm cred, yo, with the Japanese Caternic quail. These quail were classified as just common quail up until 1983. That's when they finally got their props, yo, and they became their own species. Now, these quail have done a lot for humanity. They've helped with scientific research and technology, and they've been that way helping ever since the 12th century. Okay, yo. Your boy Fried Squash, I'm going to let you in on the DL, yo. There are a few true breeding mutations of the Japanese Caternix quail here in the good old U.S. of A. And I'm betting y'all probably even know some of them. There's the Texas A&M. There's the English White. There's the Golden Range. There's the Red Range. And there's the Italian. And that's just to name some of them. All right, yo. Let me kick some more knowledge to you. Yo, the Caternix quail's plumage is what you call sexually dimorphic. Yo, yo, yo. Got another school word for you. Dimorphic. From the Greek it's an adjective yo and it means occurring in or representing two distinct forms dimorphic vocab okay yo we're gonna do this real quick yo that sexually dimorphic here it is okay this is a boy and this is a female okay side by side you see the difference you see how she's got little black spots and she's a little bit lighter in color than the boy is in the chest? That's how you can tell. That's how they tell it in their hood, yo. They go walking around and look and he's like, ooh, look at that one over there. She got, she got dots on her chest, yo. I'm going to go talk to her. That, that's not how to do it, but it's fun to think of it that way. All right, yo, these quail, they didn't always have it easy, yo. They were almost wiped out during WW2. But thankfully, during that same time era, the 40s, their egg production was off the chain, yo. So if it wouldn't have been for the incredible quail egg, yo, they wouldn't be here today. Okay, yo. We're going to be like Michael J. Fox for a second. We're going to head back to the future. Yo, the year is 1990. Yo, and these quail took being quail to a whole nother level, yo. What you had in 1990 was quail quail. Quail. In, in space. space. That's right, yo. They took these quail to the Mir space station up there. Yo, they took them as eggs, yo. They incubated them up there and they hatched them out, yo. Now, when these quail made their journey back to Earth, their whole role changed, their whole job changed. People were like, well, what can we give these quail to do as a job, yo? They done been to space, they done helped out humanity. What can we give them to do now, yo? Well, they started looking around at their wild quail population and they started introducing these quail into areas where the wild quail population was low or it was hurting real bad so that way it could boost back up the population of wild quail wild quail yo these quail don't ever get a break okay yo you're probably going all right there squash yo why i want them on the homestead then yo we learned so much about them right now so now tell me why i want them on my homestead but well, homie let me tell let me break it down for you you take one of these yo and you put it in that incubator there behind me, and then 17 days later, you get one of these. 
That's right. Their incubation time is only 17 days, yo. Then from this stage to a full-blown quail like we showed earlier, yo, is only 55 more days. So it's a very short time, B, from egg to plate. Public service announcement. The Coternix quail eggs have to go into the incubator due to the fact that the females rarely go broody. I B. Another reason, yo, why you want them on your homestead is they don't take up a lot of space. Public service announcement. It is best for quail to have access to the ground or sand pit due to the fact that they are avid dust bathers for parasite removal. Okay, B, here's some, a list of some more things that would make these quail benefit, beneficial on your homestead, yo. One, you can eat them. Yo, they yummy in the tummy, yo. Two, yo, you can sell them. You can sell them as breeders, or you could go ahead and process them, yo, and charge a little bit more and sell them for people to eat. Yo, the eggs, B. Yo, you pickle these puppies. Whoo, mm, talk about some good, yo. Get in my mouth, yo. Public service announcement. It has been known that pickled quail eggs give bad flat notes. Just ask my dad. Mmm. You could also sell the eggs for people to hatch out on their own, yo. You could also take the feathers, yo, from the ones that you process, yo, and you could sell them the trappers, yo, that they could use for their sets for their canines. Yo, so that is how these quail can be more beneficial on your homestead, yo. Come on, what did I do? I did nothing. Why are you searching me? Why are you searching me? I've got nothing, nothing on me. That, nothing. that, that might be a knife. That, that might be a knife. It's not even that. Okay, it's a little bit sharp. It could have poked you, but it didn't. It didn't. And what is this? I don't want to talk about that. I don't... These are my pants. These pants are stolen. They're not mine. Let that be known. These are not my pants. And he's finding... He's charging me with something that's... Ow! Why are you being rude to me? I've been nothing but nice to you, and you're just sitting here being rude to me. And that cuff is very, very tight. Could you loosen it, please? No? Okay. Public service announcement. Don't be this me. Check with your state DNR on if you need a license to sell quail because apparently it's illegal in this state. You knew it was illegal. Get yeah. in the car. <sighs> Some people nowadays. More paperwork. All right, yo, that about does it for this video on quail, yo. Now I know we, uh, once again, we kicked a lot of info towards you but once again yo we got a way to help you remember it hey yo dj drop those beats my name's fried squash and i'm back again so crank those speakers way up to 10 with flow like this you should be thrown in jail but never mind that time to learn about quail and quail other birds that you need to know so keep it tuned in to the Fried Squash Show. The Turnix are the ones of which I am a fan. Yo, these birds come all the way from Japan. The Turnix like me, they were bred to sing. With 28 different calls they like to bring. But that's not the cause for the ego inflation. These fowl have been hatched on the Mir Space Station. The eggs aren't big, about the size of a new one. And man, I gotta tell you, they're really good food. But one more thing that you need to hear. These birds lay around 300 eggs a year. I hope you've enjoyed my quail presentation. And that it's led to a for appreciation for animals that otherwise seem fish posh Thanks for keeping it real with your boy Fried Squash Yo, what up tubers? I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Homestead Happenings But I'm about to talk to you about something that's for real And that's something that's heavy on your boy Fried Squash's heart My clock will remain at 2200 hours to help raise awareness to the 22 veterans a day 
that take their own life due to PTSD. And my clock will remain that way until that number becomes zero. So yo, do your part. Help a vet. Talk to him. Say hello. Tell him thank you. But most of all, vote correctly to get the proper people in office that will make sure our veterans are taken care of. We'll see y'all next week. Now that was good to go, Squash. Thanks for tuning in this week. Don't forget to check us out on the web at www.bigbearhomestead.com. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Come on over to Facebook. Give us the old like. If you enjoyed this video, please like. If you got anything that you want to say to Squash or anybody else, please comment below. This is the first time visiting our channel. Please subscribe. And like always, have a nice day.